I am excited to be showing our bears a favorite way to do art with science. We've had some beautiful sunrises on the way to school this past week, and I was inspired to make art with the same colors that I saw in those sunrises. I love the way the clouds are pink and yellow, and there's lots of blue in the sky as well. And I think the way bubbles dry reminds me of clouds. Bubbles are made with a solution of soap and water. But if you also add paint to that solution, when you make the bubbles either spill onto paper or be pressed down onto the paper, you can make this beautiful sunrise. I'll show you how. The first thing you'll need is some paper that's sturdy enough to hold up to a mess that's a little bit wet. Watercolor paper is a great choice, but feel free to use whatever you have. To make a bubble solution, you'll for sure need water and soap. Any dish soap will work or hand soap. Anything that makes great bubbles. For a sunset inspired picture, I chose sunset inspired colors. I chose both acrylic paints and tempera paints because that's what I had on hand. Straws will be necessary and a spoon. Straws so that you can make your bubbles and a spoon to really get your solution mixed. So one way we're going to make our art out of bubbles is to press our paper down onto bubbles that are coming up out of our jar. So we're going to put our straw into the bubbles and remember we're blowing out, not drinking in. This is not going to taste good. All right, we just want a little more bubbles, a little more bubbles. Okay, let's pause. <laughs> and then we're going to press the paper down onto it. It's not yellow, so it's not going to work. It, it's, it'll be able to be yellow. Okay. Okay. So we have the yellow as our sun, and it's on top of our triangles to be the sunrise for our mountains. Now we're ready to add some blue sky and then some layers of pinks, purples, and oranges closer to the sun. The first thing we're going to need is our bubble solution. Liz, put some soap in our water. What do you think, is that enough? We'll try that, and we need it to be purple. There it says in purple paint. Careful with this paint, this one will stain. It's acrylic. Okay, you think that's enough? Mm -hmm. That came out really well. While she's stirring that, we have some blue. Our blue sky, yeah. and then our next layer will be purple. Can you get a blue straw? Blue straw. The first time we made our yellow by pressing the paper on, now we are going to put the paper on the table and we are going to let the bubbles fall on. The paper. This is why we chose heavy duty watercolor paper. Go ahead and blow bubbles. We're going to let them go out of the jar onto our paper. Okay, pause. We're going to go to the other side. Okay, more. Can we I bubbles. Them? Uh, actually, if you let them sit, they are going to make a cool pattern. Let's try and let them pop on their own. Can you make some more bubbles over here? Uh -huh. All right. One thing I'm excited to do is to make some purple bubbles next and see what happens when the purple and the blue kind of get stuck together. Oh, this is going to be fun! They might make different shades of purple and blue. What? 
getting some purple over here. Ready for some purple over here? Mm -hmm. I love it. Let's pause there. Okay, what colors else do we need? Uh, red. Red and oranges. We will make those and some pink. It looks like a mess, but it's a beautiful mess. All the colors are blending together, and if we allow it to dry where there's still some bubbles, the bubbles may leave behind a pattern where there is more paint on the outside of where the edges of the bubble was, and it makes for a gorgeous effect, and it's a beautiful sunrise over our mountains. Now, a sunrise is, looks a lot like a sunset, Liz, I think we're just in time. Are you ready to go see a sunset? Yeah. Daddy, why does the sunset make pretty colors? Well, Elizabeth, did you know that the atmosphere that we breathe acts like a prism? Do you know what a prism is? A prism is the thing that makes beautiful rainbows when the sun shines on it. And it makes all the colors of the rainbow. Well, over time, as the sun moves across the sky, it will make blue, and as it gets closer to the, um, the sunset, it actually has so much more air that it has to pass through that it begins to go through the rainbow. It makes colors like red and yellow, and purple, all of which are part of the rainbow.